O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today in our parish cycle of prayer, we're remembering all those who are suffering with long COVID. But also on this first Tuesday of the month, we offer Mass for the work of the Mother's Union throughout the world. But of course at this time, we also call to mind all those who are caught up in the earthquakes in Syria and Turkey and the aftermath of it. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your faith, your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let the waters teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth within the vault of heaven. And so it was. God created great sea serpents and every kind of living creature with which the waters teem and every kind of winged creature. God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful, multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let the birds multiply upon the earth. Evening came and morning came, the fifth day. God said, let the earth produce every kind of living creature, cattle, reptiles, and every kind of wild beast. And so it was. God made every kind of wild beast, every kind of cattle, and every kind of land of reptile. God saw that it was good. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give a foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came and morning came, the sixth day. Thus heaven and earth were completed with all of their array. On the seventh day, God completed the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day after all the work he had been doing. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, 
because on that day he had rested after all his work of creating. Such were the origins of heaven and earth when they were created. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the psalm, <coughs> how great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. How great, how great is, is your, your name, name, O Lord our God, God through, through all the earth. earth. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man that you should care for him. How, How great, great is, is your, your name, name, O Lord, Lord our, our God, God through, through all the earth. earth. Yet you have made him little less than a God. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. How great, How great is, is your, your name, O Lord our God, God through, through all the earth. earth. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that made their way through the waters. How, How great, great is your name, O Lord, Lord our God, God through, through all the earth. earth. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law and keep it with my heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered round Jesus, and they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with unclean hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and the Jews in general follow the tradition of the elders and never eat without washing their arms as far as the elbow, and on returning, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. And on returning from the marketplace, they never eat without first sprinkling themselves. There are also many obs other observances which have been handed down to them concerning the washing of cups and pots and bronze dishes. So these Pharisees and scribes asked him, why do your disciples not respect the tradition of the elders, but eat their food with unclean hands? He answered, it was of you hypocrites that Isaiah so rightly prophesied in this passage of scripture this people honours me only with lip service, while their hearts are far from me. The worship they offer me is worthless. The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. You put aside the commandment of God to cling to human traditions. And he said to them, how ingeniously you get round the commandment of God in order to preserve your own tradition. For Moses said, do your duty to your father and your mother, and anyone who curses father or mother must be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his father or mother, anything I have that I might have used to help you is korban, that is, dedicated to God, then he is forbidden from that moment to do anything for his father or mother. In this way, you make God's word null and void for the sake of your tradition, which you have handed down. And you do many other things like this. This is the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Praise to you, O Christ the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray now to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray that we may take heed of the Lord's commandment that religion 
is more than an external observance, but involves the conversion of heart and mind and discipleship. We pray for the mission of the church in every land, but especially here in our own parish. We pray that this community may grow so that we may meet the challenges ahead. And as we pray for the church, we pray today especially for the work of the Mother's Union across the world, and for our own branch here. Loving Lord, we thank you for your love so freely given to us all. We pray for families around the world. Bless the work of the Mother's Union as we seek to share your love through the encouragement, strengthening and support of marriage and family life. Empowered by your spirit, May we be united in prayer and worship and in love and service. Reach out as your hands across the world. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we pray for the world, we hold before God all those whose lives have been changed through the earthquake in Turkey and Syria and all those involved in the rescue effort. We pray for the international community that it may respond rapidly to this crisis, rapidly and generously. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we pray for this community, we pray for those suffering still with long COVID. We pray for all who are residents in the care homes of this parish. And we pray for our National Health Service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are asked to pray for Anne, Claire, Margaret, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Derek, Beryl, Evie May, Alfie, Yvonne, Ron, Grace, Matthew, Nick, Lynn, Evelyn, Jackie. We pray for those recovering from surgery, especially for Emma, Simon and Lynn, and for others known to us. And we pray for all who care for these individuals, that they may be strengthened by the compassion of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. For Tony Usher, who's died recently, and Anthony Roberts, Penny Thompson, Barbara Potter, and Ian Hutchinson. We pray for the repose of the soul of Kenneth Roy King, priest, and for Susan Patricia Midwood, both in years mind. Well, we commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, hear the prayers we make in the name of your Son, our Saviour, and our Redeemer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. <coughs> Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection, and so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. <coughs> for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, 
partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch, Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.